According to the Centers for Disease Control, 610,000 people die of heart disease every year. That's one in four people. Are you at risk? There are several tests that can help identify some problem areas to get and keep your heart healthy. I recently went to the El Paso Heart Center to learn more about a whole body approach for a healthy heart. A quick needle prick in my blood filled four tubes to check for anemia, leukemia, inflammation, infection, and cholesterol. I submitted a urine sample too to check for diabetes. Then electrodes were strategically placed on my chest for an electrocardiogram and I hopped on a treadmill for the stress test. Ten minutes later, the test was over. I'm trying to catch my breath. The goal is to go to 100% of your heart rate. It took about 10 minutes and 15 seconds to almost get there. I got at about 97%. We'll see what the results are. My results came back normal. It allows me to know your exercise capacity, which by the way, it was great. But cardiologist Dr. Oscar Aguilar wanted a deeper look into the function of the heart with a CT scan. It looks at the anatomy of the heart, circulation, aorta, veins, and arteries. And he was perfect. He was zero. And we learned that somebody has zero. Just like that, it gives you a beautiful idea that the chances that you have a 10%, 20%, 30% narrowing is extremely low. The part shaded in pink is calcium in the ribs and vertebra. There is no calcium buildup in the heart. Two tests done, one more to go. Heart disease also causes strokes. 700,000 people in this country suffer an attack every year when blood flow is restricted to the brain. This happens when plaque builds up in the arteries that feed blood to the brain. Is this going to hurt? No, it's not going to hurt. This third test is a sonogram. A test that allows us to see the artery wall of the neck with a little microphone. That measures the width of the walls in the carotid arteries of the neck. That's the actual... Each test is about 10 minutes long and is a good snapshot of overall health. I'm a heart doctor, but you're not a heart. You are a person from top to bottom with social issues, family issues, sleeping issues, work issues, and a lot of things, genetics. So if we really talk about those things, then we can probably come up with an integrative plan to really help you live a longer but much better life. And Dr. Aguilar prescribed a sleep study, some vitamin supplements, and chocolate, dark chocolate with 85% cocoa. This one is 88. Although I exercise, he recommends walking every day 30 to 40 minutes and avoid sugar since diabetes is one of the biggest risk factors for heart disease. We have it. ABC 7 at 10 continues after the break.